We are going to the Word of God. Our text is taken from Psalm 107. Psalm 107. And tonight we are talking about Lord. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. We are looking at the, the New Living Translation. Thank you so much, Akim. You always do a good job. The New Living Translation. And the New Living Translation says, Give thanks to the Lord, for He's good. <laughs> His faithful love endures forever. We're reading on, I can write down to the 13th verse. Has the Lord redeemed you? That's a good question. Has the Lord redeemed you? Then speak out. Tell others he has redeemed you from your enemies. You should be, you should be saying amen, amen right through this text. Right through this text. Amen. amen. Speak out. For he has gathered the exiles from many lands. From east and west. From north and south. Some wandered in the wilderness lost and homeless. Hungry and thirsty. They nearly died. Lord help. They cried in their trouble. And he rescued them from their distress. He led them straight to safety. To a city where they could live. Let them praise the Lord for his great love. And for the wonderful things he has done. 13. Eh? For he satisfies the thirsty. Fills the hungry with good things. Some sat in darkness. Deepest gloom. Imprisoned in iron chains of misery. They rebelled against the words of God, scorning the counsel of the Most High. That is why he broke them with hard labor. They fell, and no one was there to help them. Lord, help. They cried in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. Now, I want you to look at verse 11 and to 13 again they rebelled against the words of god scorning the counsel of the most high that is why he broke them with hard labor they fell and no one was there who no one was there to help them Lord, help, they cried in their trouble. And he saved them from their distresses. Father, use your servant to help us to better appreciate your help. And also help us to be grateful for the help that you are going to perpetually give to us. You would realize in this text that David opens this text by saying, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. And he asks the question, Has the Lord redeemed you? Has the Lord redeemed you? And he says, if the Lord has redeemed you, then speak out. Now, I just don't want to sermonize here on this wonderful Wednesday evening. I just don't want to sermonize. I want to, I want to bring you to the reality that you are going to sometimes have to make decisions 
that you don't want to make. That's but you are on God's assignment and you have to make those decisions because God says so. But really and truly, eh, you have feelings and God is not against your, your feelings because as we read the 11th verse of this text, the word of God tells us that they rebelled against the Lord, uh, scorning the counsel of the Most High. And by the time we get to verse 13, we realize that the Lord helped them. <laughs> that's, a, that's almost a, a, like an oxymoron here, uh, that you are rebelling against the Lord, and in the midst of your rebellion against the Lord, the Lord is not like man. The Lord is not like man. The 12th verse kind of give us an indication of, of how, how the Lord allow difficulty for them to have so that they can they could find him. Not all trouble that you are going through is really the devil. <laughs> hey, I want you to think about it. Not all trouble that you're going through is the devil. Amen. That is why he Amen. Broke them. The, who is the he? The Lord broke them with hard labor. They fell and no one was there to help you. Sometimes God allows you to go through a season of your life. Amen. Where you are on your own and he's waiting for you to come to your senses for you to cry. I, I, come on, don't, don't play chicken on me here now. Amen. Amen. You got to own up to this. You got to own up to the fact that, that God wants to communicate to, with you. God, God has a deep interest in you. And as David, amen, says in the psalm, he says, I have been through some kind of stuff. I I have not done it all right. This is what David is seeing. David is watching the people of God. And he's also, amen, having this interest in that how much he had seen the people of God rebelled against God. And in the midst of their rebelling against God, they cried out to God and God help them. God still turn around and help them. That tells us about the mercy and the love of God. Here it is that, that God is, is, is showing you his, his mercy and he's also showing you his love and it seems as though uh, that in spite of what you are doing because you are chosen because you are chosen, because you, you are called by God. Amen. The word of God tells us uh, 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 that, that God will not stop loving us. Amen. God, God has an assignment on your life to, amen, to cause you to fulfill your agenda in spite of what Man says they can curse you, they can talk evil about you, they they can somehow try to e e e eradicate you, but they will not be able to get rid of you because, amen, the hand of God is upon you. Amen, amen, amen. Do, do I have a witness here? The hand of God is upon you. Amen. Just raise your hand today and say, Father, I thank you that your hand is upon me. Hear me, child of God. I want you to always know when the hand of God is upon you. Sometimes you serve people that don't like you. Sometimes, amen, you you, 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 you are employed with people who don't like you. Amen. Sometimes you're in the midst of doing business with people who do not want you to succeed. But because the hand of God is upon you, I want you to know that they cannot stop what God has for you. God
what God has for you. He has for you. Listen to me. The word of God says in Psalm chapter, chapter 107 and verse 1 that the Lord is faithful. Yes, yes. He's faithful. There's some people, my goodness, amen, they would, they, they would leave you in a heartbeat. They will forget you in a heartbeat. Amen. You, they, you, you do so much for them and they will not, amen, be faithful. But the Lord, the Lord is faithful. Come on and give him a big praise here this, this beautiful evening. Give the Lord a hand clap. The Lord is faithful. His faithful love endures forever. How many times we have disappointed him. But he has not disappointed us. And, and David is remembering, amen, that, that the Lord has been faithful. He says, the Lord has redeemed you. And if the Lord has redeemed you, he said, he said I want you to speak out. Come on, since the Lord has redeemed you, I want you then speak out. There's, there are many people, amen, who are so arrogant and proud in themselves, amen, that they feel that it's their own power has gotten them to where they are, amen. I tell you, had it not been for the Lord on our side, we, we would have been consumed, amen. So therefore, every time you wake up in the morning, you have to remember the great faithfulness of God, and when you remember the great faithfulness of God, you got to speak out speak out he, he has redeemed me amen uh, amen to be redeemed means amen he has bought me I, i'm bought with a price amen he loves me he cares about me amen he looks after me amen he, he flourishes his favor upon me amen he makes a way for me where there is no way he opens doors for me amen that are closed when i'm hungry amen he put put food on my table he gives me the opportunity to have good clothes on my back. Listen to me. I'm redeemed. I'm his own. Come on and give God praise. You are redeemed. You are his own. You got to know what it is to give God thanks. Amen. You know, he says that he gathered them. Amen. From exile here. Yeah. He guided them from the land of exile, from the east, from the north, and from the south. Amen. And the west. And I was, I was last year I was ministering in, in Canada. And while ministering in Canada, I, I visited with a friend of mine, some of the shelters. And one of the shelters that I visited had people from all over Africa and even some of the very Canadians were in the facility there. They lived on the street and it was coming closer to winter and the place was extremely cold. And and I, I, I went to minister and the, the people from these two ministries, they had to open their doors for all of these strangers that have come into Canada, in Toronto, um, as exiles. They are looking, amen, for, for, for a new life in Canada under the refugee status. And when you walk into that, into that place, you, you, there is 1,000 to 1,200 people in the church basement who cannot even sleep there because if they fall asleep there, the authorities will shut down the church um, because it is not a dormitory, it is not a shelter for the homeless, it is a church under their license. And therefore, the people who were staying there for 
for, for, for days and for weeks. They, they had to learn what it is to, to do all night prayer when the night came. So you would hear groanings that could not be uttered. Amen. Because you don't know if people are crying for their miseries or if they're crying out to the Lord for help. And sometimes I know that it's both. It is people who are crying for their miseries and crying out to the Lord for help that they will gain uh, 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 immigration status to, to, to move on to the next level of the program. But meanwhile, they have to know what it is to, amen, crouch up under the, the wall, find a sweet spot. Probably some of them couldn't get all the walls. They had to lean on one another, amen. And another shelter I went where there were a couple hundred people, and I watched them bunch up together, Amen. And trying to keep each other warm in the midst of the cold sanctuary that, that, that is there. And, 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 and they're crying out for God for help. And I can talk to the leadership there. And sometimes the reports that they will give me of the celebratory the celebratory amen moments when sitting with of them would get the opportunity to uh, to be given permission to move to the next level and the leaders in those institutions there amen they were rejoicing with those who got the opportunity but my goodness they had food they put one thing they had they didn't have much comfort and, and, and luxury but they had food they were hungry and God took care of them they were thirsty amen and God gave them drink they were naked and God clothed them I saw suitcases of suitcases and suitcases packed with the right kind of clothes for cold weather that they would just go in like shopping based on their size because it was sent it was separated in sizes so people can get amen without Amen. Much confusion what they needed so that they can move into the place where they can get a little space to, to be fresh for the, for the next day. God provided for them. Now when I watch at this, amen, it blew my mind, amen of how how God uh, could take care of people. I'm talking like about people like you and I. Just pinch yourself a little bit. Amen. And realize the reality of flesh and blood. Amen. Just pinch yourself a little bit. Because you 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 have not probably experienced life as it relates to what it is to, to come from the east and from the west and from the north and the south. Exactly people but you you know what it is to wake up and, and 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 go through life sometimes in difficult places but oh my god in the midst of the difficult places that you go through amen god is keeping you alive come on god is taking care of you somebody need to praise god amen he you need to praise god amen because god amen is, has rescued you you cried Verse 6, you cried unto the Lord. Amen. And as you cry, amen, in your troubles, he rescued you from your distress. It is not that all of your distress is over because, amen, there is so much more that you have to, to come out of. But God has a plan. He may not, amen, work the, the plan the way that you want the plan to work. But I want you to know, because you are his own, because you have he has chosen you amen as long as you remain faithful to God as long as you hold on to the promises of God amen God is working it out for you come on and just touch your breast amen and say he's working it out for me he's working it out for me I want you to know as we looked at the 11th verse again and, and we realized they rebelled against the words of the Lord 
They rebelled against the words of the Lord. In the book of Jonah, Jonah chapter 1 and verse 1, the word of God gives us an interested account, an interested account in Jonah chapter 1 and verse 1. The word of God says, and the word of the Lord, amen, came as unto Jonah. And when the word of the Lord came to Jonah, God said to Jonah, amen, to go, go to Nineveh and, pro, pro, and prophesy against that wicked city. Amen. You, you, I, I you, you having a little challenge there? Amen. Go and prophesy to that wicked city. And my God, Jonah, amen, went uh, into uh, the boat down at the port but when Jonah got into the boat by the port Jonah did not go to Nineveh amen Jonah decided that he is going to go to Tarshish where, where he said he was going to go to Tarshish amen God said to, to Jonah he said I want you to know J boy uh, go down to amen verse Verse 2, and cry, arise, and amen, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness is come up before me. And, and Jonah, Jonah told himself, well, if the wickedness of, of Nineveh has come before God, and, and, and Nineveh is, is not a nice group of people because we have suffered. Amen. If you don't know Nineveh, amen, was, was amen, the city today that we call Baghdad, amen, um, that was the, the city, amen, was the city. Uh, Babylon was, was, was the, the, the great nation, which was... Um, Iran and Iraq, amen. It was the, 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 the nation of Iraq and, and Nineveh. It was the capital place of, of that great city, amen, in Bible days. Um, today, we, we, we know that city as Baghdad, and we know that nation as Iraq, amen, just as they did not fear God back in the, in, in the last couple of years. We see what has happened to them, amen, back in that time, they did not even fear God the same, and they were a very wicked city. And the word of God says that God, God decided that he was going to show mercy as unto Nineveh. It's, it's amazing how wicked people could be. But, but God still, amen, wants them saved. Come on, in the name of Jesus Christ, give God the praise. Amen. People are wicked, but God still wants them saved. Amen. How many wicked people, you know, don't raise your hand. Amen. But as much as you want them dead, God wants them saved. This is what, this is what the word of God says. Give me the King James Version here. Akim. The prophet is told, amen, arise and go, amen, to Nineveh, that great city, amen, and cry against it, for their wickedness is come up before me. God said, I want to give them a chance for mercy. Listen to me. Some of you you think that you amen that God just is about judgment people amen they just see God as a God of judgment the amount of Lord forgive me prayers because it's not that you want the Lord to really forgive you you just want to ensure that you get some mercies from God but really and truly you know you want to continue in your in your ways you want amen even your ways are nasty ways you still want to continue in that nasty ways but you, you're just looking for shelter from God in the midst of your nastiness. Amen. But here it is. The word, oh God, please don't get mad at me here. Amen. Amen. Still like me after I finish preach this message. But you're just looking for shelter in the midst. Amen. Of your mess. Amen. But I want you to know, child of God. Amen. Today, God, amen, can deal with your mess. But amen, if you prolong with your wickedness, God will not, amen, deal with your wickedness. Here it is that Nineveh is experiencing 
in their mess the mercies of god but judgment delayed is not judgment denied amen sometimes people feel because we are getting away with what we are doing amen it means that judgment is denied it is not denied because god cannot deal with wickedness eventually his hands will stop amen his hands amen will amen, come to an end but meanwhile he's looking for mercy over our lives and the word of God says, And Jonah arose and fleed unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord and went down to Joppa. And he found a ship going to Tarshish. And he paid the fear to go into trouble. Didn't see that, but that's Andrew John's version. Sometimes you pay money to keep in trouble. God wants to get you out of trouble and you spending money to remain, amen, in the disobedience of God. One of the things we have to always remember is that God, God has a plan and God has a purpose for our lives. And, and you could do how much you want. You probably could afford to keep up your mess that you're in. You can afford to keep in the disobedience that you're walking in. Amen. But, but it's going to find you. The word of God says your sin's going to find you out. Eventually, you, the, the Lord God is going to find you. So Jonah is in the boat heading down. Amen. To, 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 amen. To Tarshish. And on his way down to Tarshish. Amen. The boat runs into trouble. Because what you says it. Verse 4. The Lord sent out a great wind into the sea, and there was a mighty tempest in the sea, so that the ship was like to be broken. Uh, you know what, what is amazing is that the Lord sent a, a great wind. But I, I want you to realize something: God is God is aiming at Jonah. To get his attention, and, and, and Jonah is, is the culprit that is causing the boat to rock. You got to touch somebody next to you and say, be careful who's in your boat. Amen. You got to be careful who's in your boat. Amen. You got to be very careful who's in your life. Amen. Amen. Because, amen, some of the rocking that is taking place in your life is not because, amen, of you. It's because of who is with you. Amen. You got to you gotta realize, amen, that, amen, God, God knows, amen, how to get our attention. If we go back to the scripture, if, if we go back, we read in Psalm, amen, 1. 107 and verse 11 that the word of God says that they rebelled against the words of God scorning the counsel of the most high however watch what he does amen that is why he broke them with hard labor he broke them with hard labor uh, observe what you are in if you are in such a condition it is because God is trying to get your attention. God wants to get, listen, as long as you are in the, with the Lord, the word of God says in, in, in Romans chapter 8 and verse 1, there is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. No condemnation. But, but, but I want you to know that you are, you are walking in the sight of people who have their judgment upon you and they have condemnation towards you. It's not that there is therefore no condemnation really. Um, there is condemnation towards you, but there ain't no condemnation towards them that are in Christ Jesus. So people, amen, who, who have their ills and their evil for you, amen, they're just waiting for you because they have already condemnation for you. And the only thing that is keeping you ready and keeping you alive is the goodness of God. And that's why the psalmist says, oh, give thanks. Come on. And oh, give thanks because he is good. Amen. He is good. I want you, amen, let, 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 let the redeemed say so. Who is redeemed and when you when you every day that you live you 
have to just say, God, thank you. Thank you. Amen. I may not have it all right, but God, thank you. And God, if it, if it means that the reason why this boat is rocking so, oh God, don't let me sleep in this. There are some people who miss it and sleep in the midst of their troubles. What if God says they decided that something is wrong because the boat is rocking, but the boat is not mashing up. The boat is not it is going into destruction. But it seems as though the boat or the ship was like to be broken up. But God has a plan for your life. So the, he, the, 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 the boat is not going to be broken up, but the boat is going to rock Amen. In a way wherein God is trying to rock your life to get it your attention. Get your attention. And the word of God says that they began to cry every man to his God. And the captain of the ship, amen, saw what was happening. And when the captain of the ship saw what was happening, amen, they, he said, let's throw some of the stuff overboard. Amen. So that we can lighten the ship. Amen. But the Bible says, but Jonah, but Jonah, he was sleeping. He was, he, he was sleeping while things were rocking. He was sleeping. It's not that he was happy, he was sleeping. He, found, he, he, he was able, amen to, amen, to go and sleep in the midst of his trouble, but the thing is still rocking. And sometimes we are sleeping, but amen, it doesn't mean that the thing is not rocking. The thing is rocking and we are in trouble. Amen. But because of the mercies and the goodness of God, it, 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 is, not, it is not for our demise. Amen. But it's for our attention. Amen. I pray that we will get the message this morning that, amen, that this evening rather that God is after our attention. He, he's after our soul more, amen, than, than as it relates to our, our, our destination that is contrary to him. He, he's after our uh, soul. Hey, you know what, what, what I observe here is that when the captain of the ship found Jonah, the captain of the ship said, amen, he went to Jonah and he said to Jonah, he said, Joe, Jonah boy, what what are you doing here sleeping? And he said, he said, um, uh, let me tell you the truth. I'm running from God. I'm running from God. There are times, hey amen, that we take we take the high road. We take the high road to run away from God. And, and we think that it's going to be all right in the high road, running away from God. And God is saying, what in the world are you doing? Because you can't run from God. If you make your bed in hell, David said, God goes there. If, if you go to the uttermost parts of the earth, God goes there. Amen. Amen. You, you may, according to Psalm 107 and verse 4, you may wonder in the, in the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell. Amen. But God will find you there. No matter where you are, as long as the hand of God. And you, you know, you've got to be really grateful for the hand of God that is on your life. So I'm going to give God praise. I believe that the hand of God is up on you. Yes, you am I talking to. The hand of God is up on you. In spite of the wilderness experience. In spite of the rocking and the looking like it's going to all mash up and end. God has God has plans for you still. The word of God says there there was watch 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 the, the language of the scripture. How, how, how what kind of wind came came in to rock the boat? It was a a great big wind. Amen. A great big wind that came. Amen. Amen. There was a mightier tempest. Amen. A great big win. And they decided that since Jonah is the culprit, let's see what will happen. And they threw Jonah into the water. But you know, as they threw Jonah into the water, God said, a great big fish. Come on. It's amazing the mercies of God. 
It's amazing the love of God. It's amazing when the hand of God is upon you. Amen. In spite, amen, of what people expect will kill you. This is the end of you. In the depths of the sea, they are. And God provides exactly what Jonah has need of. Amen. He doesn't even know that it's it's God's provision. He's probably waiting for the for the for the fish to Amen to regurgitate him. Amen. And and uh, uh, because he has other things in his cud that he's chewing on. And you are watching on what is happening in your life, what is happening in the midst of your life. And you are wondering what what's next. Amen. Jonah must have been wondering what's next because the the the, the, the fish is is chewing its cud. Amen. Because he's getting and ready again to bring up something amen to chew and you you're wondering what they're going to bring up against you next that they can chew you up but i want you to know the hand of god is up on you and god knows how to deliver you when they're waiting to bring you up to chew you and to amen to devour you god mercy is up on you to bring you out oh the word of god tells us amen and jonah was in the midst of, of that fish. But there was something that Jonah did in the midst of that f fish. The word of God says, watch it in, in the book of Jonah, amen, chapter 2. Jonah, amen, said a prayer in, in Jonah chapter 2. And Jonah said, amen, that as he cried out as unto the Lord, amen, as he cried out unto the Lord, he said these words as unto the Lord. Verse 8, he says, They that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. They that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. So Jonah was saying, listen to me, get truthful. Get truthful because God can't deal with our lies. God can only deal with our truths. And if you're in the midst of the, wet, the, the, the the big fish belly, amen, that is just waiting for your time to come, amen, for him to digest what he had already been chewing, to, be regurg to regurgitate you, for you to become his next meal. You can miss the, the opportunity of being your enemy's next meal, amen, because God is going to hear your prayer when you cry to God for mercy. Oh, just raise your hand and say, God, have mercy on me have mercy on me God amen amen Jonah said but I will sacrifice unto thee amen with the voice of thanksgiving I would pay that I have vowed salvation is of the Lord I, I want I want God amen verse 9 Akim. amen I want God to to rescue me I want I want God to deliver me you really want God to deliver you that you know the hand of God is up on you but you are in a mess you know the hand of God is up on you. But somehow you're going to church. You know that you, and this is where I belong among the people of God. But it, it's not working for you. It's not, it's not your, 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 the next level of your deliverance. Amen. It's not coming. Your, your assignment for life is not being fulfilled. Why? Because you're you are staggering. Amen. You're staggering. You're you are unstable. You're vacillating. You, you are, you're not understanding and what God agenda is for your life and God you know as I said God is so loving God is so merciful that God is not leaving you alone because God has a plan for your life come on and say thank you Lord that you have a plan for my life come on and say it like you mean God I thank you that you have a plan for my life you're so faithful come on and just give God praise amen let's stand on your feet and, and give God praise because amen I feel a deliverance is coming for you to be released for the assignment that God has for your life amen Come on and let's take 60 seconds and give God the best praise that we can give to God. Come on. His mercies, his mercy, his mercies has brought you safe thus far. His grace has carried you. Amen. You should have been dead. 
you should have remained amen defeated you should you should have been left out amen in misery amen you should be left out amen in difficulties you you should have been amen be, be, been there where your enemies see you wallowing and, and see you under pressure amen and see you going down and down and down and down but because the hand of God is upon you even though you were in rocking stages of difficulty even though you are swallowed by things that should be killing you you are still alive today amen dealing with the mercies of God do I have a witness in this church that I'm gonna still stay faithful to God amen in the midst of I'm ready to cry as unto the Lord for him to deliver and give me his salvation please have you see amen give me give me another amen another five minutes amen Amen. He, we, we want you, amen, as a child of God today to recognize, amen, it's so precious to have the hand of God upon me. You know, the hand of God was up on Joseph. Amen. But he still went into the pit. He went into the into Potiphar's house. He went into the prison. But the hand of God was up on him. I want you to know, amen, the hand of God was up on Daniel. Amen. That he, he was accused. Amen. And he was placed in the, in the lion's den. Amen. Of hungry lions. But they couldn't eat him because, amen, the hand of God was up on him. Amen. Jonah is in a in a in a backslidden state. The word of the Lord came to him, but he he is not doing what the Lord had assigned him to do. But the hand of the Lord is still upon him, in spite of his disobedience to the assignment. Amen. God has a plan to Amen to put him back on course. Amen. Just raise your hand and say, God, put me back on course. I may not be where I am right now, Lord, but I I understand what. Pr Bishop is prophesying here to us today and put me back in course, God, so I can come out of this rocking in my life. I can come out of this shaking in my life. I can come out of this, 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 this what is swallowing me up. I need to come out of it. And the word of God says, because God's hand was on Jonah, that the fish, the great fish that was where he was headed down to Tarshish. Amen. That great fish that swallowed him. Amen. That secured him. The, amen. Can you imagine the, the, uh, that what was meant to kill him and to, to save him? Amen. F from his enemies was what God used to take him on a journey. Uh, the thing that you are, you things that you're experiencing, God is about to use those same things to take you on a journey, to put you on your course. So the word of God says that that great fish, amen, did not go down to Tarshish as Jonah taught, but that great fish turned around and went to where Jonah's destination supposed to be, and that's Nineveh. And that great fish, when he got to the shores of Nineveh, he regurgitated Jonah. He, amen. I said that regurgitate for some folks who may just get upset by me using the word vomit him out. That, that fish regurgitated him and vomited him out for those who may not know on the on the place of his assignment. Amen. Why? Because when God gives you an assignment, when God's hand is on your life, when God's calling is your life, no matter what the devil do to try to nullify the assignment in your life, Lazarus! Four days dead, by now he stinks. But it is not his time. It's not your time. It's not your time. Lazarus! It's not your time. It's not your time. Amen. The devil, amen. You are vulnerable. All of us are vulnerable. Amen. All of us are vulnerable. Amen. But God says, Lazarus! They say you're dead and that you're sink. You're stinking. Amen. Jonah! You're in the wrong 
direction, but God says, I'm going to put you back in the right direction. And God doesn't care what he uses. Amen. But God gets you to where you're supposed to be. Amen. Come on. Uh, there's a part two to this message. I'll be preaching that on Saturday and Sunday. Part two to that message. Amen. But you got to know what it is to cry out to the Lord. God help me. Stand on your feet, amen. Stand on your feet, amen. Amen. I, I just feel that God is about to work with some willing hearts. God is about to work with some willing hearts. Amen. Who are listening to me on social media and those who are listening to me in the church here this evening. Amen. God is about to work with some willing hearts because God wants you to consider your, your destiny more than your sustenance for day-to-day -day living. Because your destiny is, 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 is what God is going to, amen, take if you can put your dream into your destiny. If you, don't miss this. If you can put your, your dream, your vision, you have been created to dream. If you can put your dream and your vision as putting God first, amen. Let's put in God first. I want you to know that God is going to allow you to experience every provision for your vision because God, amen, has plans. Amen. Now you, th you think your plans are better than God's plans, but God's plans are much more better than your plans. Get ready to receive from God right now. I just need, amen. He meant to just pray over some of you tonight here who are saying, God, help me. Amen. I got I just come quickly because Amen. I, I just want to put my warm anointed hands. Amen. And I tell you, these hands are really warm. Amen. Because I'm I have on more clothes than I would normally have a, on a Wednesday night. I have on a, a, a vest. I have on, Amen. A, a shirt and I have on. Amen. A, my blazer amen and so 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 amen but it's more than just a, amen too much clothes there is an, an anointing and, uh, and better yet i'm gonna call amen our minister uh, amen charles if he could just come and just put some oil in my hand god take this oil amen take this oil we have had this oil sitting here god oh lord amen for ministry purposes but take this oil you say anoint them with oil and the lord will raise them up and if they have, they have committed any sin you would forgive them and oh god if they they they, they the anointing would also heal there is so much oh dear god in the in the grace that is given when we pass the oil it is not just another oily amen night to send them home greasy no god it is oh god for ministry it is for it's for the purpose of their destiny so god even while i just rest the oil and lay my hands i pray that you will work this work tonight that they will get to their destination with the hands of you there are things still to come there there's there, there is there is a amen a house to get a marriage to come amen children to be born amen oh oh, oh a places to travel to amen a doors to be open promotions to be got amen doors to be open for, for for business opportunity to come amen for money to come in your hand to expand what you're doing oh god just put your hand on us so make it work for us God make it work for us in the name of Jesus Christ make it work for us God make it work go now I want you when you get this anointed to go back to your seats and just just don't take on nobody else mind your own business and for the next few minutes of this service and yours I want you to just stay right where you are and give God thanks in Jesus name get the help from God in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ receive the help of Jehovah Jireh in the name of Jesus Christ receive the help receive the help of Jehovah Nisi oh hallelujah receive his help receive the help of Jehovah Sabaoth in the name of Jesus Christ, 
receive the help of Jehovah Tiskanu in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Receive the help of the Yahweh. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive the help. Receive the help. Amen. Of the El Shaddai, the God who provides and makes a way receive his help in the name of Jesus Christ receive the help from Jehovah Tiskanu in the name of Jesus Christ amen I pray that you release receive the help of Jehovah Nisi in the name of Jesus Christ listen to me these are amen the, the compound names of God that I'm calling here because he works in all these different areas oh he is mighty to save the El Shaddai in the name of Jesus Christ the God that is more than enough in the name of Jesus Christ receive his help amen Jehovah Kiddish, amen in the name of Jesus Christ receive his help in the name of God keep worshiping amen stand up and give God thanks amen and worship the Lord receive the help of Jehovah Shalom in the name of Jesus Christ receive the help receive the help amen he is the exalted one the the, 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 the servant of the Lord Peter says he's the only potentate receive the help of the only potentate receive the help of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords receive the help of amen the omnipotent one in the name of Jesus Christ receive the help of the omniscient one in the name of Jesus Christ receive the help of the omnipresent one in the name of Jesus Christ amen receive the help receive the help of the immutable God the God that changes not in the name of Jesus Christ receive the help of the almighty God in the name of Jesus Christ receive the help of Jehovah Jireh in the name of Jesus Christ come on and raise your hands all over this place and make as much noise in the spirit that you can make because the Lord has a plan for you the Lord has a plan for you the Lord has a plan for you the Lord has mercy to show you listen to me God nobody can stop what God has for you come on and give God glory nobody could stop what God has for you come on and give God glory give God amen God can pay any bill amen come on and give God praise amen God can pray pay any bill God can meet any need it may not come when you want it but God is going to be on time amen it may be rocking right now but God amen knows how to keep the boat amen for your next for your next step for your next way out of what you are experiencing amen because God wants to put you in your destiny God wants you to fulfill your destiny amen so amen God has greater for you 